In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this trendy automatically horizontal scrolling text with Elementor Pro and without any additional plugin. And of course, it works on the mobile too. So first of all, we need a few things to complete this project. And the first thing is a WordPress theme. So I've already installed Astra, but basically you can install pretty much any compatible theme that you want. When I say compatible, it's compatible with Elementor. And then you want to install Elementor. Next, you want to install Elementor Pro. And for that, you want to click on Upload Plugin. And then you just want to go and fetch the zip file that you've downloaded once you've purchased Elementor Pro. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, you will find an affiliate link in the description below. Please know that I do receive a commission if you purchase through my link, but I only recommend Elementor Pro because I absolutely love it and commission actually support the channel, which is why I can keep on creating free content just for you. Okay, but first of all, let's give credit where it's due because this tutorial was created from a code pen from Syed Murtaza, which I've slightly modified. Okay, the first thing we want to do is to copy and paste our CSS code, which you will find in the companion blog post. So I got this code here. Let me select everything. Make sure you get everything selected. Then let me go back and you want to click on the gear icon at the bottom left corner of the window. So let me click on this and then you want to click on advanced. And now we can paste the code. And I'm just going to update to make sure my work is saved. Okay, next we can start creating our content. So click on the plus sign to create a new section. We're going to pick the one with one column. Next, you want to select the content width. It's going to be full width. And the height is going to be a minimum height of 100 VH. Next, you want to click on the style tab. Click on the background type and select classic. And we're going to choose the black color. Next, you want to click on Advanced and we're going to give it a padding of 50 pixels all around. And next, you want to click on the responsive icon and hit the mobile icon. And we're going to unlink the values and we want to give it 0 at the top, 20 on the right, 0 at the bottom and 20 on the left. OK, let me zoom back out by clicking on the desktop icon. And now you want to click on the widgets icon. And we want to drag and drop a heading. So I'm going to change the text to color one. And then you want to make sure the HTML tag is the P tag. And that's very, very, very important. So with our P tag selected, now we want to align the text in the middle. And next, you want to click on the style tab. And we're going to change the color to any color that you want. I'm just going to pick that one here. And next, we want to change the typography. So let me click on the edit icon. And I'm going to change the font size to 250 pixels. Then hit the responsive icon, select the tablet. And this one is going to be 110 pixels. And then once again for the mobile, and it's going to be 45 pixels. Next, you want to click on the advanced tab. And we need to add a CSS class. So for that, just go to the companion blog post. I'm just going to copy that text here and I'm going to give it a class of scroll dash left and it needs to be spelled exactly like this. Okay, next let me zoom back out by clicking on the desktop icon and I want to open the navigator. So for that you can toggle the icon here at the bottom left corner of the window. So let me open it and with our heading selected, make sure you right click and duplicate. So let me zoom back out and now we have two. And once again, you want to go to the advanced tab and we want to change that class to scroll right. And once again, you'll find this in the companion blog post. So as you can see, it works and both texts go in opposite directions. Now let's spice it up a tiny bit. So first of all, you want to make sure you have our first heading selected and then make sure you click on the advanced tab and then click on the custom CSS toggle. So next, you want to copy some code from the companion blog post for which you'll find the link in the description below. I've got the code here, so let me just copy it and then let me paste it. Let me remove this. Now, if I hover over the text, you can see it's completely changed, just the outline. OK, let's do the same for the second heading. So make sure you have the second heading selected, then go to advanced custom CSS. And once again, you want to copy some code from the companion blog post. And then you want to go back and just paste the code. Let's update to save our work. And now when you hover over the second line, as you can see, it works fine. OK, so let's take a look at what we've built. As you can see, we have the two headings and they go opposite directions. So it looks gorgeous. Now, as promised, it works on the tablet. 
and of course it works on the mobile. Now, if you recall at the beginning of this video, I showed you a slightly different example because as I was scrolling down, the color of the background changed. So let me show you this. And by the way, let me show you that navigation one more time. If you like that navigation, I've created a tutorial about it. So you'll find a link in the description below and a video card at the end of this video. So let's click on version one. Now, as you can see, as I start scrolling down, the color changes and changes again and changes again and again. So if you want to know how to create this effect, I've put a link in the description below to this tutorial, as well as a video card at the end of this video. And if you want more of this tutorial, make sure you hit subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Now, before you go, a thumbs up would be much, much appreciated if you got any value out of this video, which I hope you did because I'm trying to build the content I wish I had when I got started. So I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, take care and stay safe.